Hello, sports fans, sports bettors, and YouTube nation. John here with Rigget Picks. And Ricketts was here with Rigget Picks, but I don't think he likes the microphone that much. Got some NCAA college football action for you on Wednesday, October 16th. Coming to you from the Troy Trojans. The University of Southern Alabama, the Jaguars, will take on the Troy Trojans. The battle for the belt, as it has been dubbed. The last four years, the road team in this series has won the game outright. Both teams enter this game on the struggle bus. Troy is the more notable school as of late. However, the Jaguars of South Alabama did hold the Nebraska Cornhuskers to 2.2 yards per carry. The Jaguars are not as bad as their 1-5 record indicates, and sophomore quarterback Cephas Johnson, every game is a work in progress, and they are getting better. In the Jaguars' last game against Georgia Southern, Johnson averaged 12.9 yards per attempt, and he had two touchdowns with no interceptions. Troy is not noted for their defense this year, but they do have a slightly better offensive unit. They're giving up 10.2 yards per pass and ranked 124th out of 130 schools on defense. So almost dead last, right near the bottom. Senior quarterback Caleb Barker is questionably questionable. Coach Chip Lindsey has been very vague about his injury that he had in his last game. He may or may not play. I don't know if it's a bait and switch or they're trying to make him plan for a backup quarterback and then old Caleb's going to come out. Not really sure yet. We're going to find out tomorrow. Troy gave up 455 yards through the air and 50 points in their Sun Belt, only Sun Belt contest this year against Arkansas State. I expect this game to be questionable for Troy. We have a five unit play, or not a five unit, a half unit play on the South Alabama Jaguars plus 15 points to cover the spread as they may win the game outright, but it's going to be interesting. With that number, I think it's a little high, so we'll take it. And a one-unit play on the over of 55. Uh, I expect uh, n neither one of these teams have a astounding defense, so I do expect a lot of um, balls through the air. Teams, they won't run the ball as much, so the clock will not get chewed up. There'll be a lot of clock and a lot of passing and a lot of points. So there'll be some high numbers on that scoreboard, and I expect it to, to go over 55 pretty easily. But if you like us, like the college football content, hit that thumbs up button. Let me know what you think of the pick. Hit that subscribe button if you want daily free um, sports betting advice. I work hard so you don't have to. Thank you guys for watching. Good luck with your bets and have a great day.